for boxing to come in the next fortnight uh, of an amateur variety. Next Friday, we have from the conference up, it's David Hay, a man with the boxing world at his feet. Eight fights unbeaten. He's been sparring, actually, with Audley Harrison. His opponent tonight, number nine, was Hastings Rosani of Zimbabwe, who has been in the ring with quite a few well-known fighters, but admittedly, not for too long. Second down, first round. Well, don't blink, David Hay, with the unblemished professional record, is a man who can really punch, and he'll go looking for this fellow from the word go. And two big left hooks and that terrific right cross already announcing his attacking intent. Hay with eight victories, and I don't think this one's going to last awfully long. Hastings Rosani already is having all on to avoid these real bombs which are being thrown by the 23-year-old from Bermondsey. Well, he's just got out the starting blocks real quick he's not going to hang about with this kid he's just going to jump straight on him and he's just going to unload everything i think i don't know if um if this kid is even a genuine cruiserweight you know he's had a few fights at light heavyweight and uh he can't take that kind of power what a good shot that was terrific straight right hand and i know that david hay spars a lot with heavyweights and you can certainly see that he's got the, the power which suggests that later on in his career there's no reason at all why he shouldn't not be able to mix it with the big man I'm not so sure this is going to go too far. Once Hay settles himself down a little bit and really starts to pinpoint those shots, they're going to go right through this kid. Well, David Hay says that he's ready to look for the likes of Carl Thompson and the British champion Mark Hobson right now. Billy Ed, the referee, he was a decent heavyweight in his own right a few years ago. Well, Hay's still... You know, he's still at, the, still at the learning stage of his career. You know, he's only had like a, a handful of fights. Shouldn't be in too much of a rush to get to where he's going. But he's got so much potential, this kid. He really has. He's got championship stamped right across his forehead. Well, Rosani was taken out in one round by Carl Thompson not so long back. And there is a, a real suggestion that he's far from the fighter he once was. He lost nine straight, drew his last contest. But here against Hay, well, he's having all on just to survive. Well, I'm not quite sure what put him down there. That's a slip, I think, and the referee has announced it as such. He's only had 16 rounds, you know, David. Hey, what he needs at this stage are rounds under his belt, Duke. Absolutely, yeah. But that punch that missed that kid, the wind alone One, put him down. It was thrown with such venom. Three, well, I don't think Hastings Rosani wants to have too much more of that, does he? It was a body shot that did it, and Billy Aird has taken a look at him and said, that's enough, it's all over, and that is another first-round stoppage for David Hay. You might say that he's not beaten an awful lot here tonight, but there is no doubting the quality and the power of the punches that he unleashes. He's a, David Hay is a big puncher in this weight division, he really is, and he will give any cruiserweight, probably certainly in Great Britain or Europe, uh, he's going to be a real handful, he's going to give him plenty of problems. <laughs> David Hay didn't need too many words of advice from his trainer Adam Booth. And he does look at a terrific physical specimen, doesn't he? He's in great shape. And let's just see some of the power that he produced right from the word go. He came out of the blocks like a sprinter. That was a terrific right hand that he just shot through there. But um, you know, this, this kid just wasn't in the, in the same league as David Hay. But you know, David Hay wouldn't have learned anything from this fight. You know, he's not getting any rounds under his belt. It's a, a confidence-boosting fight. However, you know, we'll, we'll come away from this fight knowing that the power is still intact, and he moves on to the next the next challenge. Really good punches, and Rosani, well, in the end, he just crumpled. He wanted no more, and Villiard said, that's enough. Many congratulations on the victory. John Rawling said at the start of the commentary, don't blink or you'll miss it. He was right. Yeah, he was. I wasn't in the mood to be messing about tonight. Um, I haven't been in the ring since mid-November, so I wanted to get a good show on tonight and just get stuck into the guy straight away. Give the guy a lot of credit for coming in at late notice. We had a better opponent lined up, but um, as things go on, the guy pulled out. So this is a last minute job, so full credit to the guy for getting in the ring, you know. OK, let's uh, take a look and see how you did it, and uh, it was impressive. Thank you. Um, I, I was also lining him up, uh, looking for the openings. Um, he was a, lot, a, bit, a little bit tougher than I uh, thought he'd be. He took a, a few good shots, and um, that's, um, it's good, good luck to the guy, you know. Um, it wasn't his night tonight, um, I was on form. So um, another one I'd like to wish my happy mum a happy Mother's Day and all the mums out there. OK, well done, you scored a few points. You'll do your Sunday lunch now. Yeah. Now, you just said there that um, 
you did have a better opponent and, and you do need to sort of step it up yeah, with better quality, yeah, don't without, you? Without a doubt, I'm not trying to say this guy was a legitimate contender or anything, but I'm, I'm aiming to be, I really, really want to fight uh, Mark Hobson for the British title. That's been my aim. It's my aim this year to fight um, Mark Hobson and Carl Thompson. That's for the, by the end of the year, I want to um, fight those two guys. Uh, Carl Thompson's a different situation because he's the IBO champion. For me to fight him, I have to work my up the IBO rankings by fighting world-class opponents. So I have to be ranked in the top 35. So I'm going to start bringing over some quality Americans, high-ranked Americans, and start moving up the world ladder. But that would be much later in the year. More immediately, you'll be back in the ring fairly promptly. Yeah, looking at getting out again in May. Um, so I'm going to stay in shape. I, was, I didn't get out of shape um, since November to now. I had a fight with Lee Sway. We lined up that fell through. So I was just here tonight. Um, it was a last-minute job. So I'm in good shape. I'm here, put on a good show, and um, looking looking forward to be back in uh, May. Uh, brief and to the point.